Hi, I'm Jordan. And I started the Grumpy Plumber because I'm lucky enough to have a dad who's an amazing plumber. He's been a plumber for 48 years. And since I bought my house five years ago, he has saved us tens of thousands of dollars with his experience and his advice. So we started this channel to help people out with some great plumbing advice. And for those who really care about credentials, he's been a master plumber in Michigan, and he's also a C36 plumbing contractor in California. 48 years of plumbing, he knows something. It also makes him a little bit grumpy when he's sharing advice. Don't piss him off. Hi, I'm Jordan, and this is my dad, Jim, the plumber. And today's question is, Dad, how do you pick a good garbage disposal or the right garbage disposal for your house? Like if I was this, you know, a do-it-yourself guy, which I kind of am, if I go to Home Depot, how do I pick a garbage disposal? Well, first off, you motors, motors a big thing. Usually they'll have one third horse, half horse, three quarter horse, and one horse. Okay. Okay. And uh, usually the bigger they go, the more expensive they go. And another thing is, usually the bigger, they're they're more uh, uh, insulated to quiet down. And another thing with the the bigger garbage disposals, every time you turn it off it, and turn it back on again, it goes in opposite direction. So if something gets caught in there, it will kind of free itself oh, up. Oh, wow, that's nice. Um, okay. And by the way, if it does something get caught in there, like an insincorator, the brand insincorator, has a very nice feature. It comes A tool comes with it, an Allen wrench, and in the very center of the bottom, you can put that Allen wrench in there with the switch turned off, okay? Yep, okay. And you can turn it. You can turn it to free up what's in there. Oh, like, like if you get a bottle it. cap caught underneath there, uh -huh. sometimes you can free it up. Yourself. By using that, by using current turn it back. Might turn real hard, but hang on the garbage bowl and you uh, work on it and you free it up. Nice. And sometimes it'll pop loose, then you can stick your hand down in there and pull it on out of there. So if I got a so going back to the size of motors, if I have a house with like, you know, five people in it, what size garbage disposal do I need? I would say at least a three quarter horse or a half horse. Right. And Syncorator also makes what they call a I believe it's called a commercial grade. It's called a three thirty three. And mm. it is really, really a nice garbage disposal. You cannot buy those at Home Depot or anything. You have to buy them through like a uh, plumbing distributor or your plumber could get it for you. But the nice thing about them, they're stainless steel. They're very good quality. They've been around forever. That particular model is very well liked by contractors. So could a guy off the street go to one of these plumbing <clears throat> places and buy one of these? Nowadays, they probably can. Okay. Walk right. right in and buy one. Like a Ferguson's? Yeah, Ferguson's or you know whatever plumbing supply, local. people that get into it, or a good plumbing supply. Hardware stores, they probably sell in sink mm. but they probably don't know what they're selling. Are you sponsored by um, a sink curator? Uh, no, but I've used insincorators for 48 years. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. And I you know, know how they work, and they're really the best one to have out there. Hmm. Um, so, and another thing, if you do get something clogged, a lot of times there is a, 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 a breaker like in it where the power shuts off. Yeah. And you free up the thing, and you just, the button is real near the center of it. You push the button is back. Is that the on. red button? The red button on yeah. the bottom of the garbage disposal, and you uh -huh. push it up, and if it kicks on again, you know, so you always want to find out. If you have a problem with the garbage disposal, see if that button's set before yeah, okay. you call somebody. Because yeah. they're, they're, they're kind of made foolproof. Uh, uh -huh. But like an apartment house, small apartment house, you probably have the smallest one, a third horse or a half horse. Uh -huh. And as you go up to bigger homes, they do bigger. What if you have too homes. small a motor on it? What's going to happen if you have like a third horse? And you might just wear it out more. Oh, okay. Know? It won't last as long? Yeah. And another thing, too, is there's two things. You want to use it. If you're going to own a garbage disposal, use it. Okay. Okay. Because if not, they'll just kind of get rusty and not run. And if you have a home like a vacation home and you're gone a lot of time, before you leave, take some cooking oil, vegetable oil, like a mm. maybe like a third of a cup or a quart. Just take it and pour it in there as the motor is running and it okay. will lubricate. With it. no water. With no water. And okay. then walk away because then it won't dry out and, fr and rust up and stuff. So That's to cool keep idea. moving. All right. When you nice. come back. So if you come back to your Florida vacation home and you find out your garbage disposal isn't working, you forgot to put the oil in it. Okay? <laughs> so, oil your garbage disposal. Oil your garbage disposal. Right. How much should I be paying for a good garbage disposal, like a good insincorator, a half horsepower insincorator? Well, roughly. the smallest one, a half or a third horse, probably, uh, you know, a plumber would probably sell it around $125, $130. Okay. A good one, I mean, you can get them with odor 
protections on and all that stuff, which I've never really, I thought that was a waste of money. Mm -hmm. So I would never, I always talk my customer out of it. They could be as much as $500. Oh, wow. On them. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And nowadays, too, they, they put, gar when they put garbage disposals in, they used to have a switch on the wall. Well, now they put them in with an air switch. Oh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, okay. You push the air switch on and off. It's a lot safer, you know, on it. And you don't Why have... Why is it safer? Just because no electricity? Well, you're not touching electricity because you're just pushing an air button. Oh, ah, okay. And how it works is the garbage disposal is plugged into a control, and then the and, it, and when you push the button, it's like on a Whirlpool tub. Yeah, that's a good okay? analogy, yeah. It's a safety device. It's, have, you know, Which, all the buttons on a Whirlpool or a jacuzzi, and they're really soft to push, that's what it is, yeah. it's an air button. But, and if it doesn't work, you tell me that, there's a little tube in there, there's right? There's a tube on it, could come on disconnected, you put the tube back up, you check that stuff out. Yeah, no need you to know? call a plumber. Yeah. Even us old people can crawl up underneath the sink. There you go, yeah. Okay. How about... Uh, so how much would it cost, or how many hours would it take for a plumber to install a garbage disposal for you? If you got the sink there, and they bring a garbage disposal in, how much would it be a hook If up? you're replacing a garbage disposal, and if it happens to be an incinerator, in the top on the inside that you see the basket strainer like of it, and if it doesn't look too bad, most of the time they just disconnect by just turning it underneath, Okay. and it disconnects, and then you put another, you put another one on by clamping it back up, and the tool that you use to free the thing up is also the tool that you use to tighten that clamp down. It's just mm -hmm. a thing that just turns and locks into place. Nice. And then you hook up the drain on it. And if you were to change the size of the garbage disposal, you might have a little bit of drain work. But I would say any good plumber uh, would be would be a minimum of an hour service call. Minimum of an hour, yeah, okay. Yeah, mostly minimum. Sometimes unless you've got a, you know, if he walks drain. in yeah. and he's got to clean your whole cabinet out, and then he's got to put your whole cabinet back together because you'd like to put everything in the world underneath the kitchen sink. It might take a little longer. So think about that. All right. Well, thanks, Dad. Appreciate the answering the question there. Um, if you want more questions or if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have anything you want to add to what he just said, add in the comments below, but he probably won't like it. Um, and if you want some more videos and more answers from the Grumpy Plumber, uh, make sure to hit subscribe. And if you liked it, please hit the like button. If you didn't like it, go to hell.